Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and we are into episode number two of our Japanese Let's Play on War on the Sea. A uh, couple of quick notes before we get started. Uh, today, when the video goes up, is the 25th of March. My wife and I are going to be having our second child uh, sometime this weekend. So I'm going to be slightly altering the uh, scheduling that I've been putting videos up. Uh, n nothing too major right now. Um, probably going to be cutting out the double features on Wednesday and Sunday. As well as um, I've been trying to get my videos up between like 11 and 1 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, they may come up as I can get them up. So you may get videos at nine o'clock in the morning you may get them at you know f 5 p.m but i am still going to continue to try the daily uh the daily uploads and see how that goes and if i have to uh, make further adjustments to my schedule obviously family comes first so once our little boy comes we may see a a difference in the way I've been posting, but I'm still going to try and get up uh, daily content. Pretty excited for that, as well as uh, the continuation of our Japanese campaign here with the Tokyo Express mod. Uh, I've been going through uh, some of the American bases to see uh, what we could do. Uh, this area is the main concern right now. Our Task Force 1 over here has come under uh, repeated attacks by uh, aircraft. I'm assuming they're coming from Gua either Guadalcanal or uh, Florida Islands. They could be coming from Rennell too. Um, thank you everyone for the tips and advice you've left in the comments of the first video. Uh, definitely a difference between this and the vanilla game. The vanilla game, the uh, AI was less aggressive with their air power. This one, they kind of messed me up pretty good. So the advice of stay the hell away from the airfields during the day is definitely going to be the first priority. With that said, uh, Task Force 1 here is trying to get away. We're going to see how, uh, how they can get away without getting destroyed. That may be kind of difficult. Um, these guys have been kind of providing air cover. You know, admittedly, I am not familiar with a lot of the types of planes that we have available to us. Um, so I'm going to be learning as I go. That's my style. And if you want to help out, you can definitely leave the advice in the comments down below. Um, it's also advised to go through and start like a little uh, notepad type of deal where I just learn the capacity of these. Uh, at some point I'm going to do that, but I wanted to get this episode recorded. Uh, we don't have the command points to throw together anything of substance right now. Um, we've got the, uh, heavy cruiser for Itaka, furry taco here. Um, she was pretty messed up in air attacks. So after we get rid of our troops, what I'm going to do is at nightfall, I'm going to run in and, uh, neutralize one of these airfields we're not going to have the ammo to do both or maybe we will it's only a level one and then get this group out of here uh probably add another heavy cruiser to it and send it back out if we have enough in terms of command points uh looks like we barely have enough in terms of command points both of our uh, for Ataka class cruisers are out. Uh, we have the Aobas. And that's about it for uh, what we can do. So we've got the Aoba and the Kinagasa. 
we could add them to the task force one and send them back out at some point we're going to need to really beef up some of our task forces because the American uh, Navy is definitely going to be heading up. It's still only 9.38 in the morning of day zero, so we are going to uh, get things started and see how we can make out. Okay, hold up. First thing I do is... Uh, we've got 12 zeros here at Rabal. I am going to launch them to provide air cover for Task Force 1 as they make their way out. Okay, here's our first engagement of the episode. Uh, we have uh, something to deal with here. So let's select. I don't know why it's in line ahead here. Smoke, radar. Top speed. Again, let's uh, find where our planes are. Quickly get them over to our task force. give the Americans a fair chance at finding us. Probably 30 seconds or so. I should probably do a little more than 30 seconds just to be fair. Turn that radar on. One of our ships... Actually, not, nobody has radar. All right. That's something we're going to have to uh, keep in mind when we select another heavy cruiser. We need someone with radar. Uh, looks like we've got... Oh, looks like we've got some dive bombers heading in. Okay, we're going to break everybody. Let's see who they might be heading for for attack, of course. So let's get some maneuvering done. We may lose the uh, for attack. Oh, we they missed. At least that flight missed. here real quick. want to get all my ships heading roughly in the same direction. Try and avoid any collisions. I guess you can turn around and go back. So let's, uh, Get those uh, planes down. Shoot them. Luckily, it was a fairly small flight of uh, enemy planes here. Let's have you target this one.
Not sure why it's, uh, why we can't hear him shooting, but. Here we go. Wow. Alright, we've got one left. There we go. Alright, so the first air attack has been, uh, repelled. Let's see what type of damage they did. Nothing. Alright. So we can leave. Let's get our second flight of, uh, Light of zero is up. All above Task Force One. Now we do have scouts we can launch, so. They don't have shit for range, but we can launch them. outside of range. Huh. That's going to take some getting used to. Uh, nothing available. Got some Nels. What we can launch from here. Uh, dive bombers. And torpedo planes. I don't really want to use those for scouts, but let's see what their range is. Nothing. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping that we can get the uh, get the task force out of here. Who do we have here? No auto resolve that. Looks like we shot the uh, scout down. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to keep them kind of moving in this area for now because I do want to go in and bomb the airfield down here see how far we have 205 miles if we come out here yeah I think it's probably bring them out here for now Kind of keep them in this area here. Got one sub that's heading down into the slot. We had a second sub somewhere. Oh, we do. It's a task force. All right, so we're going to split these guys. Split group. And we're going to send the I-10... patrol down through here like this there we go 
Okay, I'm going to uh, make a quick cut here and uh, get back to you with anything of any importance. All right, well, that didn't take very long. We've sighted uh, within range of our beleaguered Task Force 1 a group of six ships, uh, maybe two light cruisers and one destroyer. We definitely want to uh, launch something from there. What this guy's doing way down here? What's his range? He doesn't have any uh, any payload, so... Uh, and still nothing available here. We've got three Nels. See what we can do with uh, three Nels. Um, we'll go with the four, four armor-piercing bombs. I'm gonna launch them up. And hopefully strike these guys. Let's get something off from her ball as well. What's their range? 258 miles. I don't think they're within range here. Come on. Okay. Nope. Uh, Betty's. I don't think we have anything in, uh, in range. At all. Except for the Betty's. So, Betty's it is. We'll go with, uh, four 250 kilogram bombs. All 12 of them. Have you head out? <clears throat> okay, we've got a combat air patrol over the surface group. Rataka can launch scouts. They do have bombs. And we'll do one. I just want the uh, scout to kind of keep track of these guys here. I'm going to check it out and see what I can see. Probably shouldn't have done that. Wasn't expecting our uh, surface group to get pulled right in, but they are kind of right there, so silly me. And I don't think we have any uh, any payload on the roofs here. But they could possibly um, do some strafing, maybe? I don't think that'd be a good idea. All right, there's the uh, surface group. Oh, so we do have zeros. Let's take a look at what we have. That's new. It's a British ship. Uh, we've got a destroyer. So it looks like we have a British either light cruiser or heavy cruiser and uh, Fletcher class. Alright, so we are going to send these zeros over here.
Got a lot of planes in the area. Uh, these guys look like they might be able to do some damage too, so... Send them over. Zeros with uh, floats. I was mistakenly calling them uh, crap-ass float planes, but they are actually zeros. Uh, not sure if I want to have them really try and engage. So our surface fleet, let's get back to that. Brand new experience for me with all these new planes. It's like a brand new game. Uh, so for Ataka, you are messed up. Your forward turrets, I believe, are out of action. Which is unfortunate. So for Ataka... And these three destroyers are going to form up. And these three destroyers are going to form up. We're not going to go... Okay. And what we want to do is bring them this way. And then our destroyer group have them come down. It's kind of concerning none of my ships have radar. Okay, obviously for attack I want you to target the American cruiser, or the British cruiser, Australian. Let's get some identification on her. Uh, county class. Nope, might be a light cruiser, that's... Where do we have a Perth class? All right. Twenty two thousand yards out. Might be better idea to uh Wow, I can't talk. Can you tell it's 5 o'clock in the morning? Better idea to disengage here. But I'm not one to shy away from a fight, so... We're going to see what we can do with uh, some of our aircraft first. All right, so they are engaging this scout. Look at this guy sitting out in front. Not sure what it is, but they have bombs, so let's get rid of them. He's blasting away. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, so we have... Spotted the other uh, Japanese ship, or at least one of them. Japanese. Man, this is going to take some adjustment. Let's take a look and see if we can uh, tell what she is. Oh, it could be a light cruiser. I don't think it is, though. Because there's a lot more...
Yeah, I don't think it is. Benson class. We know the other one's a Fletcher, so. <clears throat> Alright, there's the other uh, destroyer. We'll just identify her as a Fletcher. Get all our zeros formed up in the one group. Uh, target Benson. They're not firing yet. They may be uh, inside their range. Really sorry about the uh, lack of quality of our my commentary here. Still kind of early in the morning, but we do have a range of 32,000 yards, so they are within range of our primary guns, even if they are ramming each other. How about you back off? Oh, look at that. Right up over top of her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very steep learning curve here, like how to maneuver a ship in a uh, fashion that doesn't put them in uh, the same space of sea. These guys are going to run into each other if I'm not careful. Alright, let's get you to hold fire real quick. What do you have for... Yeah, you're... Uh, still pretty... Pretty low on ammo. Right off the bat. Uh, let's have our first group attack. Have you move in on the Fletchers? Not sure why they're uh, kind of heading in the wrong direction here. And it's not letting me change their course either. Okay, we're just going to send them in on the attack. Hope the, uh, the mod isn't bugged. What's the range on our secondaries? 16,000 yards. We've got torpedoes with a range of 24,000 yards. That's uh, fairly impressive. Got a 90% solution on Perth. They are coming up to meet us. Alright. 
I'll have you start making smoke. This guy's been hit already. Actually, you gotta get your uh, damage repaired here. Something's not working here. Okay, how did these guys make out? Did they uh, hit the Benson? Do we have any damage on them? Nope. Get everybody to target that Benson and attack. Our zeros don't, or uh, these Hayabusa's don't seem to be doing too much. These guys are taking their sweet ass time getting into formation. So I may end up breaking them off and possibly moving them in on their own. Okay. I don't know why it's not letting me change their their course. want to get you in range so you could start firing yeah it's not it's not letting me change their their course at all oh there we go all right so you're gonna head south for attack is in the lead Minor damage on this one. 15,000 yards out. Let's check your range. Oh, you're within range? Okay. So, Furataka. Got a pretty good solution on the Perth. Let's open fire with your secondaries which you are, so I don't think we're getting any hits though. We've got our fighters moving in to uh, do a little bit of strafing. We have caused some damage to this destroyer, so that is a step in the right direction. send them back into attack send our zeros which do not have a target we're gonna send them in on the uh, on the Fletcher here okay for Ataka how is your rear turret still within range uh, Perth is going 26 knots. I am going to try and hit her manually. Looks like she's turning at 26 knots, 12,000 yards. Uh...
That's definitely gonna miss. Hold your fire. Turn off manual fire. And begin attacking. Looks like the uh, Perth is kind of damaged. Probably not much, but all right, we got our zeros moving in for their strafing run. See how this one does. leaving so we'll get him up to altitude so he doesn't crash in the land looks like we've gotten some good hits on the uh, the Perth here our air Air crews are taking a beating. Looks like the uh, Perth is the primary target for everybody. We want to probably switch some of our fire to uh, some of these destroyers. So we're going to have this group Hold your fire and start targeting this Fletcher. We're going to have you turn. Stop targeting Perth. Start targeting the Fletcher. Turn in. You. Stop targeting Perth. Start targeting Fletcher. And turn in. Perth suffers magazine cargo explosion. Uh, she's pretty much dead in the water right now. That's a good thing. Okay, so you... We'll have our destroyers continue to fire on the Perth for Ataka. Want you to hold your fire. On both your primary and your secondary. Uh, we are going to target the Fletcher now. Before our zeros get out of the uh, engagement area. Let's see, we've only got two of them left, so... We'll just leave him alone. Let him leave. A 
your solution build a little bit. Are you, uh, in your firing arc? Yes. Turn you up just slightly. <clears throat> Let's get everyone firing again. Fire your secondaries on the Fletcher. Alright, they're still firing on Perth. That's fine. Uh, what are we at? 12,000 yards out. Perth is immobilized. Fletcher is on fire. This Benson is uh, making smoke, but... I don't think she's damaged just yet. Actually, I'm going to select our main guns, go to manual fire. I'm going to let a couple of salvos fly on the Perth. like we just missed there. Okay, hold your fire. Okay, the Fletcher looks like she's repaired her damage. Benson is leaving. Alright, now we've got some damage here on uh, this destroyer. Looks like she's the focus of uh, all the fire. And once we get the Perth down, I don't think... Uh, let's get this... Uh, what's the Fletcher doing? 31 knots. See if we can see if we can hit this destroyer here. It's a fast moving ship, so put the shots out right there. Let's give the guns a chance to train and fire. Fletcher is taking hits, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna hold your fire now. Looks like we did get a hit. See what the damages are. Critical and critical on the Perth. Oh my. I'm gonna break you off. And head north. Fabuki, how are you doing? Break the Fubuki off as well. I have her head. God damn it. Head north, Fubuki. Head south, Furataka. Uh, you really need to focus on this, ex this uh, Fletcher. That could be a, a torpedo run right there. All 
Right now, this group is coming under attack from the Perth. So we are going to have to switch our fire. Um, not even fire in here. Start targeting. Oh, she's out of ammo. And now her guns are out of action. Okay, Fabuki. Stop targeting Perth. Hold your fire. Start targeting this Fletcher. Her forward guns are out of action. Wow. Hold your fire. Start targeting Perth. Actually... See, we can launch two torpedoes on a one degree spread. We'll do it manually. Put this right through the center of her. I said two torpedoes, not six. It's a bit overkill, but... Okay, Fabuki, we're gonna have to do something with you, so turn around. Looks like Furutaka is still firing on the Fletcher, who is taking damages. Uh, Benson's running pretty good. Okay, head north. For attack a turn. Both of our destroyers are just not doing very well here. Uh, let's get that fire under control. Let's see, do these guys have any any type of ammo? Oh, they do. They have bombs. Ah. All right. I don't think they do. You do, though. All right. So you will target. It might take you forever to get there, but... Let's have you target this Fletcher. A Fubuki. Who exactly are you shooting at? Oh, nobody. Whoops. Make sure get everybody's firing here. It does seem kind of uh, kind of strange to me that I'm a little bit overwhelmed by there we go by surface combat here. Let's target the Benson, see how uh what we can do here. Seventeen thousand yards out. I think the Benson probably we should just let her go. Cut our losses. Perth is still firing. 
Let's target the Perth. I don't want those uh, torpedoes to come in and finish her off. She is, after all, dead in the water. So we will target her. She is completely out of ammo. Wow. And burning considerably. Wanted you to target Benson. Drop your little bombs on the Benson. Why not? Oops. Speed up. Hundred and twenty eight shells left. We use the high explosive first. Torpedoes may not even get there. Let's uh let's hold fire, actually. Let torpedoes do the trick. So, uh, Task Force 1 is pretty much shredded and out of ammo, so I do want to get them out of here. So we will give them all orders to follow for Ataka. Not what I wanted to do. Oh. Our first loss is the destroyer Murakumo. Hey, Fabuki. We're just going to have you come to a stop, get your fires under control. Oh, uh, the Benson looks like she's turning now. Got our torpedoes inbound. Six of them. There they are right there. We may have to deal with that Benson. She's still got all her guns active, though. That's really impressive. Got a little bit of time here. Benson is turning, so... We're going to be switching targets pretty quick here. Actually, it looks like the uh, damages are getting under control here. There. I'd say that's it for the Perth. One, two, three, four, five, six torpedoes, no duds. Okay, gotta get your fires under control. 
How far out is the Benson? 21,000 yards. Oh, we got our, our plane about to drop their bombs. Here they come. Or not. Oh, that sucks. And they missed anyway, so. Okay, so we're going to disengage here. Get our damages under control. And have everyone come to a dead stop. Want to get my damages under control before we leave. go into the uh, strategic map with as little damage as possible. It's nice these guys stuck around. Pretty sure Benson's just trying to get get the hell out. Alright, let's check our damages. None on Furataka. A whole lot on you. Slightly... All right, so if the Benson comes back around, we can uh, re-engage her. Make sure everybody's targeting the Benson. Okay, so I'm going to get the damages repaired, and unless Benson decides to turn around and make a run on us, uh, we're going to exit out of here. Okay, so here is the after-action report. Perth has been sunk. Fletcher has been sunk. We lost the Murakumo. Heavy damage on Hatsuyuki. Minor on Miyuki. Heavy on this destroyer, and uh, Furutaka is still... She didn't take any damage during the battle. We got three command points lost, or gained. Uh, Benson, we let go, so... That is our first surface engagement of the campaign. We're still going to try and get these guys out. I don't think we're going to uh, be making any type of shore bombardment with them they just don't have the ammo and it's not worth the risk running them in so uh i'm gonna call this episode to a close episode number two we saw our first uh surface combat um i think we did okay given the circumstances with the furataka's main guns in the forward part uh forward turrets being out of action uh we sunk a australian light cruiser and a fletcher class destroyer so if you like the battle if you like the episode hit that like button um once i get into the groove with the ships uh, i'm still kind of getting used to playing as a japanese so i'm looking at these ships thinking of them as something i should be shooting at instead of controlling um the surface battles will get better i promise you that so if you're new and want to follow along through the campaign, we're just getting started, so it should be a hell of a wild ride here with the Tokyo Express. Uh, hit the subscribe button, you can come along. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below, and other than that, we will see you for the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.